Hello everybody and welcome, this is Saad with Build Informed and in this video we'll take a look at curtain walls, an overview on how to create and edit them. So without further ado we'll go to the architecture tab under the build group and select wall. Then in the properties panel we will make sure that we have the correct type selected. For this video we'll be using the curtain wall storefront and we'll start by clicking for the start point and click again for the end point or enter a value and as you can see the curtain wall has been created and is divided into four selectable options each one having its own properties so first of all is the curtain wall as a whole second we have the mullions which are divided into vertical and horizontal elements third is the panel and fourth is the curtain grid and the curtain grid is pretty much what dictates the location of the mullions hence the size of the panels for this curtain wall we only have vertical and boundary elements so if we would like to create horizontal elements we will need to create curtain grids first and those will be assigned mullions later on so first we'll go to under the architecture tab again under the build group we'll select the curtain grid and since we want to create horizontal mullions throughout the whole curtain wall we will go with the default option of all segments and then we will hover over any of the vertical elements which will show an indication of the location of the new curtain grid and by clicking a new curtain grid is created and the mullions are uh, automatically assigned to it however if you would like to change the location of that you can do that by selecting the curtain grid and entering a value or dragging it manually next if we would like to for example separate this panel into a fixed panel and a window we will first need to create a new curtain grid and mullion and this is done in the same method by selecting curtain grid however this time rather than all segments we will select one segment and once again hover over the closest vertical element to the location we want and once the position is finalized we click and we have created the required uh, mullion hence dividing the panel into two next we'll take a look at how to change the panel or replace a fixed panel with a different option so let's say for example we'd like to change this panel into a door we will select the panel maybe you might need to use the cap t tab key to cycle through the different options of selection and once it's selected we can open the types here and search for a door here are all the uh, families that are curtain wall based and select our door if you look in plan you can see the door is right here and we can uh, change the direction of it and using the same method we're going to change this panel here into a window and drop down this time we will search for window and the door and window have been created However, normally or practically it would be a good idea to remove this bottom mullion. So that is easily done by selecting the mullion. And if we try to delete it, it won't work because it is pinned. So we need to unpin it first by either clicking on the unpin here or up here in the toolbar. Next, after we have learned how to change the panel types, 
we will take a look at how to change the emollient types. So pretty much the same way, we will select the emollients we require to change. So either you can select one by one, or you can look at the selection options. So if you select a mullion, then right click and go to select mullions. These are the different options. So for this, I will select on grid line and it automatically selects all the mullions that are on the same grid line as the mullion I had selected. And once again, these need to be unpinned before I can edit them. So I will either unpin them here or here and through the drop down I'll select the emollient I the type of emollient I would like so you can try this one however if I cannot find the type of emollient I'd like I want I can always create my own type and this is done easily by going to the families under the curtain wall mullions these are the different types and I can select the uh, type I want so if I want a rectangular one I just duplicate an existing one and change the name maybe to 100 by 200 By double clicking, it will open all the parameters. So for the thickness, I will put in 0 0.2, and for this, I'll have 0 0.05, 0 0.05, apply, okay. And now I just need to select the emollients once again and select the new type I have created. this can be done for a standalone mullion so once again I'll need to unpin it and go to the type I prefer and it has been created I hope you found this video helpful and see you next time hopefully in our next video